Hello everyone and welcome back to Today the class will be on window basics So before we discuss about window basics let us have some revision on the previous class which was the operating system So in previous class we have seen that operating system is the lifeline of computers and also we have seen that operating system is the fast to load when we start up the computer so computer resources are also managed by operating system so we have seen some example of, of an operating system there were five examples but among that window was the commonly used operating system why because window 1.0 was the first graphic user interface operating system introduced by microsoft office in 1985 because operating system ms dos which was introduced by microsoft office for ibm pc was not easy to use because there were no icons on that operating system user were typing commands in order to open any program for that reason only the user complained about that software seeing that microsoft office launched a new operating system which work on graphic user interface known as windows 1.0 in 1985 since then new and new modified and improved version of windows were being released from time to time like window xp was released on 2001 window vista 2006 Windows 7, October 2009, Windows 8, August 2012, and Windows 10, July 2015. These are some of the operating system that has been in order to improve the version. So, among all this, Windows 10 is one of the most, you know, best operating system till date. So, in today's class, we are going to see booting of computer, desktop, or Windows screen, parts of Windows desktop screen, icon, gadget, taskbar, sidebar, Common icons in desktop screen, restart and shutdown of computer. These are the topics on which we are going to discuss today's class. So before we proceed forward, let me show you some of the Windows desktop screen of some commonly used operating system. So the first one is Windows 7. And this one is the desktop screen of Windows 8. And this one is the desktop screen of Windows 10. So in Windows 10, this portion and this portion this portion look like windows 7 and this portion look like windows 8 so window 10 is a combination of window 7 and window 8 so it is considered as one of the best operating system till date because this operating system can work on any platform it can work on laptop it can work on desktop tablet and even smartphone so when you turn on your computer a series of tech messages flash across your screen these messages are there to let you know what is going on as computer start up or boot up. Then after a few seconds, slowly the computer starts this screen display. You can type your password on this given box. And then after typing the password here, you can either click the enter button from the keyboard or you can either click this arrow button on the screen. So after you have click or press enter from the keyboard after typing a password, then what appears? A window desktop screen appears. This is known as window desktop screen. So what do you understand by window desktop screen? Or what, or what do you understand by desktop screen? Desktop screen is the place provided by the Windows operating system where you can use any program and can do any work if the question come what is windows how can you use windows window is an operating system installed in almost all see how can you use windows we can use windows to start program manage file connect to internet and perform computer maintenance got it so next we'll see the major parts what are the major parts of window desktop screen the major parts are what tax bar okay now what is a tax bar tax bar is a long bar at the bottom of the desktop screen and we next we have what sidebar sidebar hold mini program called what gadget that shows live informations got it 
The next we have gadgets. What are gadgets? Gadgets are mini applications that perform useful functions such as clocks, game, calendar, etc. And the next we have what? Icons. Icons are graphically representation of file, folder, or program on desktop screen. Or even you can say a small pictures on desktop screen is known as a what? Icon. Or it is called what? Icon. So, tax bar, it appears at the bottom of the desktop screen and it is divided into four parts. Number one is start button, number two is quick launch toolbar, number three is active program area and the last one is what? Notification area. So, tax bar is divided into four main parts. One is start button, quick launch toolbar, active program area, notification area. We will see the use of these parts. Okay, let us see the use of these parts. So at first, the start button. What is the use of start button? So start button is used to open the start menu. It is the main way to access file, setting, and program, and documents. And next we have what? Quick launch toolbar. <laughs> now it contains icon to quickly access program by single mouse click. Now what is the use of this area? In this part, whatever program is kept, you can open that program in a single click so whatever program you have pinned in this part or in this area you can open it by single mouse click and next we have what active program area what is the use of this area this area display icon or names of current running program and files means what whatever program you are working with or you are working on so the icon or the name of that current program is displayed on this area through which view you will know that yeah this is the current program on which i am working or which is activate understand so this is the place where the name of current program or icon is displayed and next we have notification area notification area this area let you view time date and status of program and setting in this area you can see what the time the date or whatever settings or whatever notification does the computer gives you for example if your computer is infected by virus then the notification will pop up in this area the message will pop up in this area if any emails come to your system then it will pop up in this area for example if you install a pen drive in your usb port then it will display in this area so whatever notifications notice of a computers is shown in this area that's why this area is known as what notification area now we will see the commonly common icon that appears on desktop screen at first time so the first commonly used common icon that appear on the screen is what computer or this pc icon this icons open a window that let you access what this drive cameras and other hardware connected to your computer and next we have what network open a windows that let you access their computer and device on your network and provide quick access to network and sharing center and next we have what recycle bin it display all file and program that were deleted and deleted file can be restored from the recycle bin if they were accidentally deleted and next we have control panel open the windows that let you configure and manage your system so these are the four commonly appeared icons on the desktop screen which you will see in windows 7 window vista desktop screen okay <coughs> hope you have understand till here so next we are going to see and we are going to discuss about the step to open a program now what is the step to open a program many of you may think now we have discussed about the major part the tax part the part of the tax bar the icons now let us see how to start a program in windows 7 or window vista we just click on what start button the start menu appears so as a start menu appear you click what all program like all program menu appear so as a all program menu appear you can click on any program from the list or let us say you want to click what let us say you have click want to click a notepad when you click a notepad what happened a notepad windows 
appears okay got it so this is the step in which you can open a program first you have to click what the start button then the start menu appear then you have to click on all program then all program menu appear then choose any program that you want to open and click on the particular icon or program to display the program on the screen got it so next we have how to restart a computer to restart a computer you have to click where on this start button when you click start button a start menu appear when you click on this arrow the lock menu appears then click the restart button when you click the restart button what happen and slowly your computer will get what restart and next to shut down the computer how can you shut down the computer same process to shut down the computer just click on the start button after clicking on this start button just click you can either click where on this shut down button or this arrow okay it depends upon you when you click directly on this shut down what happen the computer will directly shut down or if you want to click on this arrow what happen a menu a menu will appear a lock menu will appear so from the lock menu also you can choose the shut down options okay and just click the shut down option to shut down your computers so here we end our class oh all you have to understand so in my next class we are going to see that we are going to see the program window that is the word web we have will learn and will study about the word web or notepad so in that class i'll show you practically how to use word web and how to use the keyboard so stay tuned for the next class and don't forget to like share and subscribe so see you all in my next class God bless you. Stay safe. Take care.